hey, congratulations, you've attracted that client and now you're in negotiations with them for pricing. But wait, they want what? They won't pay you until when? They want a discount for that? These are the types of situations that happen a lot, especially for new artists, new commissions. And we're gonna talk about things that you should and absolutely should not do when you're going to be commissioned for art. And it starts right now. What's up y'all, this is The Art Mentor. My name is Sean and today we're gonna be discussing some common art commission traps. Now look, I understand how you can definitely be feeling eager and you're just salivating over the potential idea of somebody's gonna pay you for their artwork. But listen, you gotta think about this number one thing. You are a business person first and an artist second. Look, during the negotiations process, it's essential to make sure that you are gonna get the money you deserve when you deserve it and to make sure that you are not going to get taken advantage of. So here's my helpful guide for some common art commission traps and things that you should absolutely avoid. Here we go. So the first trap, it's, this is the most common trap, especially for artists that are new to working with clients, is the delayed payment trap. So this is when potential clients are going to say things like, uh, I'm not going to pay you until 50% of the project is done, or I'm not going to pay you until I see a sketch. I'm not going to pay you until I see a color comp. Yada, yada, yada. Look, I'm gonna make this as simple as possible for you, just so that you remember this. No pay, no work. That's how you need to operate. You should not do anything at all, unless you have a check in your bank, unless you have a PayPal notification for it. There is absolutely no excuse ever to do anything for free in the art world. If you are seeking to be a professional again, you need to be respected as such, and that means that you have got to have some money in your wallet before you pick up pencil to paper, before you pick up stylus to your tablet, before you pick up paint to canvas, you need to be paid for it. This is typically the fault of new artists, new to working with clients, because they're just really eager and they're enthusiastic, they're excited about the prospect of making money. And they typically get taken advantage of a lot and they will never, ever, ever see payment. So definitely don't want that be you. So the overall principle here to remember, do nothing until you are paid. Now the second most common art commission trap is that you're gonna see a client that wants you to do a test artwork. This is when they wanna see what you can do. They need to see what you can do before they are going to hire you potentially. Now look, I just wanna ask you real clear, just to make sure that we're all on the same page here. Who exactly is hiring you? Did Blizzard Entertainment reach out to you? Did Riot Games reach out to you? Is this Bioware? If it's not, which it probably isn't because if so, then you're getting paid a ridiculous amount of money for them. Absolutely never, ever, ever, ever do this. Y'all hear me really well on this, please. This is insulting. This is just somebody, some scrub out there who wants you to make free art for them. Don't be a sucker for this. This is definitely never going to be the case. Unless this is a really big illustration company, unless this is a really big concept art company, unless this is some very large company, being asked to do a test artwork, it's always going to be a complete con. Don't ever fall for this one. If they're gonna really push you on this, and again, this is, would be for a small client, your portfolio should display very succinctly what your range of abilities are. And if they can't gather it from that, then take a hike because they're not gonna hire you anyways. Hey, make sure you keep watching for more great tips. And remember that if you like my content and you wanna help support me make more like this, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. Let's continue. Now our third most common art commission trap is the bulk discount. Now this one sounds really exciting and amazing, doesn't it? Someone's gonna come to you and say, hey, I want 10 illustrations, or hey, I want you to make three books for me, and I'm gonna pay you X amount, but, ooh, can I get a discount, please? Y'all don't be a sucker for this one either. This sounds amazing. Let me give you an example here. Let's say that you charge $300 per illustration, and somebody comes to you and says, oh hey, I want you to do 10 illustrations, and you're sitting there through your head and you're like, okay, well, I could potentially charge $300 for one illustration, 
or uh, maybe I'll do $200 per illustration for 10, I'm gonna get $2,000. Wow, that's amazing, right? But no, because that honestly, generally never works out that way. Let me tell you why. Because more times than not, what they're gonna do is that they're gonna take you for that one illustration or two illustrations, maybe three if you're really lucky there, and then they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna dump you. They're gonna leave you, they're gonna ghost you. You're just never gonna hear from them again. They're gonna come up with some weird convenient excuse like, uh, oh, something came up, or uh, sorry, uh, my work schedule changed, or then they're gonna give you this gem too, and they're gonna say something like this. This isn't the direction I wanna go. Now they can be gushing over your artwork, but then they're gonna slap you with that hard one of this isn't the direction I wanna go. Let me tell y'all, this is code for they can't afford you. Now look, to be honest with y'all, I am in favor of doing a bulk discount, but not in the way that they want it done. If you have somebody that wants you to give them a bulk discount, here's what you should do. You should charge them and make them pay full price for a certain percentage of them. Let's go back to that 10% idea for a moment here. So if somebody's gonna want 10 illustrations from you, for the first 25% of it, charge them full price and let them know up front, hey, I'm gonna charge you my full $300 price for the first three artworks, and then I'm gonna give you a bulk discount after that. Make them earn your trust. Make them earn that. Here's the guiding principle here. You need to show up with your best. And if you're constantly, while you're producing your artwork, thinking about how you're getting underpaid for this, you're not gonna produce the best possible art because you're, instead you're gonna be mentally fighting the fact that you might not be paid the right amount the whole time or that you're not gonna, they're not gonna come through on their end. And that's not a position you wanna be in because you can't perform. If you can't show up at your best, then they're not gonna get the best out of you and nobody wins in that situation. So yes, the bulk discount sounds awesome, but really it's typically a con. You should not do it in the way that they want to and you should make them earn your trust. Now our fourth art commission trap is a real doozy here and it's one that we see talked about a lot, but I'm gonna go into this and dive into this right now. And I'm gonna warn you, I'm gonna get heated about this one. This is the social media exposure trap. Yes, this is when someone's gonna say something like, I'll feature you on my page. I'm gonna make sure you get lots of likes, lots of follows, lots of comments, lots of subscribers, yada, yada, yada. Y'all, in 2021, why are we still falling for this ridiculous trap? This is ultimately the dumbest thing that you could ever do. Overall, this trap appeals for your need for attention. Don't be a sucker, don't fall into this. Let me ask you a question, y'all. Do likes, follows, and subscribers pay your rent? Do they buy you groceries? Because if not, then they gotta take a hike. No, you are not gonna do anything for free. Also, let me just ask you this. Who exactly is going to follow you? Who are you going to be exposed to? Y'all gotta remember, this is art. This is not the movie business. It's very, very unlikely that that random Instagram page is going to generate an art director to come and contact you to make more artwork professionally. It's not gonna happen. Don't fall for this one either. Now our fifth art commission trap is called the guilt trip. This one's a doozy here. This is when someone's gonna ask you for a discount or to do something for free potentially. This is when somebody's gonna go ahead and ask you to create artwork at a discounted price or at a special price because it is for a special occasion. It's for a birthday, it's for a special occasion, it's for an anniversary, so on and so forth. This is when you're gonna see people say things like, oh, well, I can't pay that crazy amount that you normally charge, and if you don't do this, you're gonna ruin Christmas. Listen, y'all, I hate to sound insensitive here, but that's not your problem, because if they really cared about Lil Johnny's birthday, or if they wanna create funerary art of their dead grandma, then they need to pony up and pay for it. Simple as that. It sounds harsh, but that's the truth, y'all. You are not in the business of charity. This is a disgrace to your achieved skill that you honed over a lot of years and through countless hours of development. It is not your responsibility to then go ahead and do this stuff for free or less than you would normally get. Throughout this art trap, do not be a sucker for a sob story. It's a nice idea. Maybe you wanna do this for a friend or a family member. That's fine, but don't let these random strangers sucker you into this because in the end, they're just looking for a cheap discount. That's all, nothing more. And my last artist trap, this one's real simple, y'all, but it's the most important one that I want you to hang on to. 
Make sure you're not being underpaid. At the core of this, you need to value yourself as an artist and you need to make sure that you're valuing your skills, okay? Making high quality art is not something that just anyone can do and therefore it doesn't come cheap. You need to make sure that you are definitely getting paid an amount that you believe you deserve, okay? And with that, yes, I understand. Everybody's got to start somewhere. The master was once a novice, okay? People that get paid thousands of dollars for commissions, yeah, they probably started out at a lower amount. But here's the thing you need to remember. You cannot stay in that place forever. You should not, and I repeat, you absolutely should never have the same rates for years. You need to, as your skills grow and your resume grows and your client base grows, you need to make sure that your prices are growing as well or else you're always gonna be in the same place. Y'all hear me on this, please. You need to make sure that you are getting paid proper amounts because this is how we, this is how we as an artistic community level up our overall societal appreciation of ourselves and give overall the impression that art matters and that we need to be valued for fair prices. Never get paid for less than you deserve. If you are currently feeling like you're underpaid, simple, increase your prices. The worst thing that you can do is to be afraid to lose a client because they are not going to pay you. If this is the case and the client will not pay you what you deserve, you need to be strong and you need to be confident enough to just tell them to go take a hike. And I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to find someone else that is going to do it. I've had to do that plenty of times in my career and you can too. At the end of all of this, you need to remember that you need to stand firm in your negotiations. You're gonna take what you deserve. You are not gonna take discounts for bogus reasons. You also wanna make sure that you're going to be cautiously optimistic while you're feeling eager and enthusiastic about that new potential venture, but you need to look for red flags to make sure that you are not going to be taken advantage of. But remember, you are looking out for yourself as a business person, and that needs to be at the forefront of your mind during negotiations. Hey, thanks so much for watching this, y'all. This has been The Art Mentor. Do you have a topic that you'd like me to cover in a future art talk? Make sure that you go ahead and drop it down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching this, y'all. See you next time.